Hey, this is Bruce here with the Aquarium Life. Uh, so, kind of a you know more of a simple uh, subject today. We're going to talk about bulkheads. Uh, the problem is, is I have seen so many bulkheads that have been installed incorrectly. Uh, bulkheads that have started leaking when they didn't need to. So, in the video here today, I'm going to show you how to properly install the bulkhead, and then also I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to make sure that uh, they never leak. All right, so here's our bulkhead. Uh, just pretty much a standard one-inch bulkhead. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, take the opportunity here to point out a few things that are uh, important and are going to make a difference. There's, uh, it, hopefully, you're seeing this on the camera. There, there's a little bit of a, a ridge there on the seal. That ridge is designed to contact the glass. The back side of this, that's completely smooth, that's designed to come in contact with the uh, bulkhead right there. Uh, the reason for this is uh, just to kind of, uh, you know, I guess safeguard against any, uh, any minor imperfections, uh, help keep any sand out from the seal. Uh, that's why it's designed the way it is. Um, a few pitfalls, I've seen people install these seals and they'll, uh, they'll put the, the seal on the uh, on the dry side of the tank so they'll, they'll put it they'll put it here on the nut uh, you might get it to seal but it's that's you know that that's eventually going to fail it's going to cause issues um, it is designed to go over this and it is So it's designed to go over that, and this is designed to all be on the wet side here. So if you're, uh, you know, if you're looking down in the tank, that would drop in. The seal should be there on the wet side, and then this, you don't have any additional seal there on the dry side. So that, uh, that is the way that is supposed to go. I've seen it uh, done incorrectly uh, in any number of ways. Uh, multiple times I, I've seen a lot of different uh, uh, problems that could be avoided okay so on this uh, this aquarium here it's uh, drilled on the bottom we've got uh, room for a three-quarter inch bulkhead and, uh, and a one inch uh, bulkhead the uh, you know one thing I've seen uh, is that people They'll, they'll throw the bulkheads in. There's some dirt or debris around here. This should you should be able to eat off of this thing before you put the bulkhead in. I'm not even kidding. It should be uh, spotless. Um, the other thing I've seen is once people get their bulkheads installed, and I've been guilty of this, they try to stuff a bunch of um, bio media back there. They'll they'll put some uh, rocks back there or whatever to get uh, you know more filtration in the overflow. Well, it's really a bad idea because if that, uh, you know, if that bulkhead shifts in there, then it's going to pick up uh, some of that sand, and over time, that's going to get into the uh, into the seal, and it's going to st start a leak. All right, so this is uh, an older bulkhead. I'm just using this uh, just for the purposes of the demonstration here. Uh, this one you would attach. Uh, you know, a piece of flexible tubing to it. Uh, I, I like to put my pipe on there first so that I've got something to drop it down into the uh, overflow with. So you can see here there's a little bit of play and that's completely normal. You're going to have that. But if we have sand and, and a bunch of um, you know debris around in, in the overflow, eventually that's going to get picked up in there if that's moving around. Let's say on this, for example, we'd have a flexible tube coming off. Maybe that's going into a filter sock. And every time you're changing that filter sock, you're putting a little pressure on there, and that's going to move around. So um, obviously it's best to uh, you know keep this as clean as possible in the overflow. And uh, it's also best to avoid any kind of movement that, that, you know, any kind of a situation that would cause movement or stress on the plumbing itself. But um, 
you know, that's uh, as an added safeguard, and I might get a little bit of a hard time for this, I will put a small bead of silicone right around this opening. Now what that's going to do is it's going to act as a second seal. We don't want that acting as the primary seal. We want the seal on the bulkhead doing all the work. This is like a, uh, a backup. So this is in here. It's going to help prevent the uh, bulkhead from moving back and forth. And it's also going to act as a secondary seal. So the seal should be doing its job uh, despite the silicone being installed in there. But we're adding an extra layer of protection because we do not want to tear this apart after it's been set up. So then we get that hand tight. Okay, so we get that hand tight and then we're going to add just a little bit more tension on there with a set of channel locks. Uh, there are actually wrenches that fit these really well um, if you can come by one. But we don't want that uh, so tight that it's crushing the seal. We just want it putting a, a good amount of tension on the seal. Um, also, when you're using tools on these, you need to be very cautious because I could easily twist this enough to break it. It's just a piece of plastic. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're installing your first one, you just want it good and hand tight and then a little extra with a wrench. You do not want to over tighten that. And then I'll let that, uh, you know, I'll just let that dry for just a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because even if we put water in immediately, that primary seal will, will do the job to stop the uh, water from leaking out. And then that silicone will sit in there, harden up, and it'll help add an extra layer of protection. All right, hopefully uh, you got a few tips out of this. I mean, yes, bulkheads are incredibly simple. You might think, why am I watching a video on bulkheads? But as you can see, um, there, there's a couple steps in there to uh, make sure that they don't leak and that uh, you have a little bit of added protection. Uh, just, just putting a little extra thought into it before you install it because once you get your aquarium set up and then a couple months later you start having a leak under there, it's awful. You've got to cut pipes or you know, you've got to drain water and it can be a, a very unpleasant experience. So take your time, uh, make sure everything's lined up, make sure that everything's clean especially. I've seen that as a, as a problem. And, uh, you know, make sure you're using new parts. If you're using a used uh, bulkhead, get a new seal for that. Uh, or really a whole new bulkhead. I mean, I think they're about $10 each. So, uh, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please, uh, please feel free to leave those. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. It's vital underscore reef. And thank you so much for watching.